Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today it's my pleasure to bring to you the all new 2016 Road Trek Zion SRT. So this one is going to be a shorter chassis, it's going to be about 18 inches shorter than your standard Zion, which is going to actually bring it under 20 foot long, so it's perfect as an everyday traveler, it'll fit in your regular parking spots, a fantastic coach. This one is going to be on the Dodge Promaster chassis, it's going to have your 3.6 liter V6 engine on there. We do have right here the power steps, so you'll get that as soon as you open the door up, power step is going to come out for you, that will be both on the passenger side as well as the driver side. You also get plenty of storage right here in the door and you'll have some cup holders built in which is great for travel. Also getting into the main area of the coach, you'll have your sliding door. That way it's not going to take up a ton of room, great access, big open entryway. Again, power step right here. You also have an electrical outlet right here which is great for the passenger while you're going down the road. And one of the things I love that they do here is you're going to have your screen. Just pulls across like so, super easy to use. Great thing about this is you can close that and gives you amazing cross ventilation in conjunction with your rear screen. That way you can open it up, really enjoy the nature while you're camping. Camping. Up top, you're going to have your power awning. That is a carefree of Colorado power awning. Fantastic awning. It's just going to be one touch operation. Touch the button, it's going to go ahead and roll out for you. Same thing to roll back in. That way, you can really create a nice space out here while you're camping. If it is going to be windy, no problem. You do have the connections right here. You'll have arms built in, so you can go ahead and connect those to the cab itself. One thing I do want to note on the Zion is these are going to be automotive bonded windows, so it's going to be a fantastic seal on there. It's not going to be uh, your RV windows like you see on some of the competition. Road Trek is definitely all about quality, you can see it outside and in. Right here is going to be our backup camera, so that way it gives us better visibility from we're backing up, make sure we're not going to hit anything. Again, if it's your everyday driver, it really makes parallel parking a lot easier. Right here is going to be our hitch, it does come with our rubber cover on there. And then right next to that, you get your choice of plugs, it'll have the seven way, as well as your standard flat four right there. So that's fantastic, gives you uh, multiple options for towing. Right here is going to be your power hookup. And then right underneath, it's probably a little tough to see, but right here is going to be your spare tire. That way it's mounted underneath, out of the way, both of these doors do open up which is great. You can fold these back, they'll fold back all the way. That will be on both doors. Again, so you can open that all the way up. Right here will be your zipper for your back screen. So you can just go ahead and zip that in again and get that amazing cross ventilation. As we come to the off door side, right here is gonna be our outside shower. So you do get both hot and cold access right there. And then all of our um, dump terminations are gonna be right here. Has a nice panel covering that up. Nice and easy to take that off so you can go ahead and dump out. All right, folks, I know it's great on the outside. Let's go check it out on the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Road Trek Zion SRT. Let's start right over here. This, of course, is going to be our entry door. I showed you the screen on the outside. Right up top is going to be our control panel. So this will have our battery disconnect, inverter, water pump, our tank monitoring system. You'll notice there's nothing here for the generator. That's because this unit is going to be equipped with your underhood generator, which is a fantastic system. It's basically going to be like a souped up all alternator that's always running while the vehicle is. That way you get full access to AC, microwave, TV while going down the road and it's going to be a lot quieter. So if you ever do uh, have to turn it on in the campground, all you have to do is fire up the vehicle which is way way quieter than your Cummins owning generator and you're not going to have the maintenance that comes to the generator as well. So a fantastic system, definitely a bonus to have. You'll also have your power on and control right up here. I talked a little bit about that when we were outside. So here's going to be your kitchen. You get great countertop space here, and they do that by giving you covers on both your sink and your stove top. So you can just open this up right here. You'll, your faucet will rise right up like that. When you're done, you can close it back down. Same thing with your two burner stove top here. And it's nice, you have a built-in uh, glass black backsplash here, as well as the backsplash that goes all the way up. So if you're cooking something messy like bacon, it's nice and easy to clean. Also, for additional countertop, 
top space, check that out. You get a huge uh, add-on right here, which is fantastic. The other thing I love about this is if the doors open and you uh, want to you know, serve and entertain, you can put some drinks right here, or food right here, nice and easy to grab. Just really nice setup. Also, you have plug-ins right here. You'll have your uh, standard 110 there. You're going to have a USB as well as your 10 volt. As we come around, you're going to have some excellent storage right in here. You can see there that you have plenty of storage and you'll get great storage over here as well. You'll also have a drawer that's going to be built in right here and you'll have a plug in here which again is great great for uh, electric griddle blender coffee maker whatever you like always nice to have a plug in you'll have a light right here led lights throughout the entire coach so they are going to use less power and they're not going to put out the heat which is great microwave right up here rounding out our kitchen is going to be our fridge and freezer combo as you can see you have plenty of space you're also going to have the temperature control located right here in the back you'll have a drawer the other thing i really like about uh, this particular particular unit you get a nice glass top above that drawer which is great so if anything does leak it's not gonna fill this with any kind of liquid and also right here this is going to lift up so which will allow you to easily fit a two liter half gallon of milk or maybe a container of orange juice also right up top is going to be our freezer we get plenty of space in there as well Underneath that, you're gonna have your positive lock drawers. You just push that in, pops out, and then you can pull it out, releases the lock on there. But take a look at the size of that drawer. You get a massive drawer here, which is perfect. You can stuff this full of food, pots and pans, whatever you'd like, but just a massive drawer, always a great thing to have. Right next to that is going to be a pull-out pantry space. Great shelves on here. Perfect for a lot of our boxed goods, nice and tall here, uh, as well as any kind of canned goods too. Back across the way here, we'll open up. Here's gonna be some wardrobe storage. So you get a nice hanging rod here. You'll also see this is where your table leg is gonna be hidden. So that table leg can either be inserted right here, so you'll have a rear table, or it can be inserted up front in the cab, which I'll show you in a little bit. The table top is actually gonna be located in the door behind this power sofa. So why don't we go ahead and take a step in the back. I'll show you some of the features back here. So because this is the SRT, this is going to be a little bit shorter. So we're gonna have our power sofa along the back. This, like I mentioned, is a power sofa. So just touch of a button and this will go ahead and lay flat or you can adjust it at any angle. The control will be right here. You can just touch that. You wanna stop right there so you can sit back and relax a little bit. Not a problem, you can easily do that. That will go all the way down. You have a piece right here that comes across. These back cushions are gonna fill in and that's gonna give you your queen bed. So a fantastic uh, area, not only to sit, but sleep. And then if we take a look over here, we do have a 24 inch Samsung TV with a cover. So nice big TV there. Uh, this will be on a swing arm, so you can go ahead, release that, you can swing it out. Both the um, driver and passenger seats do swivel, which I'll, again, I'll show you in a little bit, but that is going to allow you to watch the TV from anywhere in the coach. Also right up here, you do have your DVD player, so if you wanna watch DVDs, you can certainly do that. Up across the top, we're gonna to get great storage. So you'll see you're gonna have storage up here, as well as storage here, and we have a little bit here. This unit is equipped with a solar panel. Uh, you'll have a 200 watt solar panel up top. So that way you can go ahead and use that solar panel, panel and it will help trickle charge your batteries. Like I mentioned, this of course is gonna be for our table right here. You can see that this just pops out nice and simple, easy to use. As we take a look right here, we're gonna have access. So you can open that up. You get great access to valves right there. This is going to be our heater. And then right here is going to be our bathroom. So there is a lock, you just pull this up. You have magazine racks right here on the outside. Open the bathroom up and you'll see we're gonna have a full wet bath. 
So of course you're gonna have our shower pan as the floor, we'll have our stool there, and you get uh, very sufficient leg room, you'll have some shelves as well as your sink, and then here's going to be your shower wand, so it has a holder right here, this is just gonna tie in right to your sink here, and that's what's gonna allow you to take a shower. Now if you look at the door system, it's pretty neat, because it doesn't have to shut all the way, you can close it just like so, that way you get a little bit of extra room there, um, which is great for, again, if you have to use the restroom. Room. Let's go ahead and swing around up to the front. When we're taking a look at the cab right up top here, you're going to have great storage right up above. You'll also have extra storage area right up here. Now, I mentioned earlier that both your driver and passenger seats are going to swivel. They're going to be leather seats here. Here's your other location for your table. That way you can have your table right here. Both can spin around for a nice, easy, quick uh, snack or a card, uh, game of cards, whatever you would like. Also, as we take a look up front, uh, you'll notice you're going to have plenty of cup holders here. You have three cup holders in the center as well as one on each side. You have USB plugs here. You have the uh, 110 I showed you earlier right here next to the door and you're gonna have additional USB ports right up front there so you have plenty of charging up here I also forgot to mention back by the bed you do have three places to charge which are going to be underneath your cabinet so you have extra 110 uh, 12 volt and USB ports back there as well this again, this is the 2016 Zion SRT, gonna be 18 inches shorter than your standard Zion, which puts it under 20 foot. Fantastic coach, super easy to drive. You get nice tall ceiling heights, I'm six foot. You know, you're gonna have your underhood generator, just fantastic all around. If you do have any questions or comments, please go ahead and feel free to leave those on the video, or you can give me a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks folks, hope you have a great camping season, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.